Europe is poor in raw materials. It imports 90% of the most critical ones. The European Union is looking to reduce its dependence thanks to the circular economy. This geopolitical situation has to be the time where we actually go circular. But is this rush into secondary resources profitable? Let's find out. Here we are in the suburbs of Brussels. On average, a Belgian family has 74 electronic devices at home, 13 of which are unused. Est-ce que vous savez ce que c'est que la mine urbaine? Ça se passe sous ce chapiteau, on va voir ça. The Recupel Association is on a collection tour. The devices in good condition will be reconditioned or resold. It's the other part that interests us today. They're going for recycling. La première étape, c'est de, de, de d'effacer l'ensemble des données personnelles. It was in my house for several years and they, yeah, they will use it well. Et les piles vont à droite, le, le fer va à gauche. Si tout le monde le faisait, la terre serait moins malade. Quand on voit un petit peu l'intérieur de ces appareils, on, on s'aperçoit qu'il y a quand même énormément de matières premières, tout ce qui est aluminium, le lithium ou le nickel. The European directive setting the requirements for collecting e-waste is going to be updated to make the most out of some increasingly precious materials. To help you understand, here's Comet Sombre. This European leader in metal recycling is responding to the growing demand for resources that are essential to the green and digital transitions, the famous rare earths. C'est typiquement ce moteur électrique qu'on va démonter pour extraire, vous pouvez le voir, vous pouvez le voir ici, pour en extraire la valeur terre rare produite essentiellement en Chine, contenue dans les aimants que vous pouvez voir ici. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle on essaye de diminuer notre dépendance en essayant de recycler davantage ici en Europe. Artificial intelligence enables this robot to sort other metals such as aluminium and copper, which are among the European Union's list of 34 critical raw materials. Alors aujourd'hui, notre stratégie R&D est d'essayer d'aller de plus en plus loin dans la purification de ces métaux et donc dans le prix. Et donc on va euh, équiper cette ligne de nouveaux capteurs qui permettent d'aller encore encore plus loin, notamment dans la séparation des aluminiums par famille d'aluminium. C'est surtout d'innovation appliquée pour euh, répondre aux besoins du, du secteur. The EU's objective is for a quarter of the critical materials consumed to come from recycling by 2030. The European Commission is to present a Circular Economy Act by the end of next year. Altogether, around 12% of the products used in the EU today come from recycling. Commissioner Roswell wants to promote circular competitiveness to increase this share. We have a lot of policy already, but we need to get the economics right. One thing that we have struggled with is that virgin materials is cheaper than recycled. Uh, and also, uh, we, we sometimes don't have the techniques. But of course, there is policy. There is policy when it comes to making, for example, targets in different uh, materials. We need to make a single market for waste. We need to see as an asset that we also need to use more sustainable, more economic, and also for our, our, our own security. But it's not all about electronics. We're off to Denmark to talk about another strategic sector. The building industry accounts for 40% of total waste. This site is a pilot project. Certain materials are gently dismantled for reuse. These bricks will be clean, so you can actually make new walls. Concrete is one of the most CO2 intensive materials. So if you can do some kind of solution where you can reuse them directly, don't need to recast them or anything. This is the best for environment and also in terms of saving new resources. But this is still a minority practice. A lot of concrete is still downcycled. It's a quite low value recycling process. You can cross it down and then, for example, you use it as a base layer when you do road construction. 
The Circular Economy Act should also include a review of the main waste legislation to minimise the proportion that is still not recycled. All this would normally just be incinerated. This is almost impossible to recycle because of so many different kinds of waste threats. The Solemn Company has invested in this robot, which is capable of preventing this so-called mixed waste from vanishing. Wood, concrete, metal and plastic. If this had to be done by hand, it would take ages. You can actually increase the recycling rate very, very much by focusing about this. It's also economical, feasible, and it's also very, very good for the environment because there is quite big CO2 savings. These materials can be sold to companies that manufacture circular products. Again is a Danish scale-up that designs and builds innovative construction products from waste. This was about to be incinerated. These are plastic boards made out of 100% consumer waste or medical plastic waste. These interior glass partitions are modulated from former exterior windows from demolition sites. Clarity uh, in Denmark is only around 4% uh, in the built environment, and that obviously has to go up. We are predicting that, uh, that towards 2060, we are to double the amount of square meters globally. That's just not possible if we don't look at resources as something that is a scarce thing that we need to take care of. It's a conservative industry. Things are moving uh, slowly, but, but they are moving uh, in the right direction. And you're making it move. We are making it move. We are making it possible. For this to be possible, material inventories must be carried out before each demolition. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Lendaga Architects are experts in this field. Here is a community house they've built from a former wholesale market. What I'm most excited about is actually the reuse of concrete. These elements kept some of the small the scratches, past. traces <laughs> of the past. What you see is actually similar. We tried to utilize what was given to us, a really extensive part of the embodied carbon that we have in our buildings is in the structure, as the old marketplace. Steel beams were taken down, kept, so they could be re-erected here again. But the priority for these architects is still to avoid demolition for a minimum waste. And if we have existing buildings on site, we would always try and assess the opportunity for transformation or renovation of the building. Our mantra is form follows availability. Taking that responsibility seriously, it's, it's really important. That's all for this trip. See you soon on the road to a more circular world.